Microsoft has just upgraded their Cosmos 2.5 model and that is what we are going to install and test in this video to see if it is the same old wine in a new bottle or if they really have done something innovative with this model. Last time this year there was sort of an OCR war going on where a lot of companies were releasing OCR models and multimodal text recognition models right left and center and that is when microsoft also came up with this cosmos 2.5 model we covered it on the channel and it was not bad really at that time since then things have evolved considerably and significantly and that is why uh, i think microsoft has done a complete overhaul of this model and hopefully it will be uh, better than the previous one and we will be testing it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe. I also have opened up the membership to the channel. So please become a member as that helps a lot in keep keeping this channel going on of course. So what exactly is this Cosmos 2.5 model and what it brings to the table. So this is a multimodal model designed specially for text intensive image understanding. Unlike standard OCR systems, it doesn't just transcribe text. It learns to jointly recognize, localize and structure the text within images. And this localization part is what has improved a lot. That, that means it can output both spatially aware text blocks with coordinates for where each piece of text appears and structured representation like markdown that preserves layout styles, tables, or lists. Built on a decoder-only transformer, it unifies these tasks through flexible text representations and prompt table outputs, making it well-suited for document OCR, scientific papers, web pages, forms, or any real-world scenarios where text is visually dense and structure matters. So let get, let's get it uh, installed. I have just created a, this quick script uh, and I put a Gradio interface on top of it where it is going to download the model first time and then it is going to give us a very simple interface to upload our images and then from there I will use this model to use its decoder and then give us the markdown or OCR content. Okay, so let's go back and then um, let's run this. And if you're uh, what the code, the code is free for the members. So please feel free to become a member. Happy to send you the code. Now, in order to get it installed, I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM, but you don't really need 80 GB VRAM for this. Model is quite lightweight and I will show you the VRAM consumption in real time. Now, if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Now, first up, I am all I'm going to do, I'm just going to run that app.py script and that is going to uh, download and launch our Gradio demo. And the model is being downloaded as you can see, so let's wait. And the model is now running on our localhost at port 7860. It is fully loaded onto the GPU. Let me show you the VRAM consumption. So just over 3 gig of VRAM. You can easily run it on a CPU. Should not matter too much. Okay, now let's try it out with few of the images. So I'm just going to upload an image from my local system. I'm just going to go with some hard ones. So let's say I'm just going to go with this newspaper which is very very old it's an old australian newspaper um, i'm not sure what was era i think 1700 or 1800 maybe something so i'm just going to do first ocr and then we will do the same with markdown so let's run this it is running at the moment let's wait and there you go it has done fairly decent job look most of the stuff is illegible but still i believe that for example in this third column it has done well and then also um, it has you know the sale of the jersey which is correct and then clearance sale and all that stuff it has done pretty well here especially in this column now 
interestingly enough if the text is like this it is not uh, sort of in horizontal way the vertical one it was unable to do so i was hoping it would do that too anyway so what it has done you know quite well it's a very very hard one okay let's try out another next up i am just giving it this multilingual one this paragraph has some um, arabic english russian ukrainian hindi lot of other languages and it has done all of them quite well i would say yes the font is not available on my system so maybe that is why it was unable to put it here but other than that i think it has not bad at all english one is quite good and i think it is mainly geared towards english language as far as i could tell but if you are that language uh, speaker please also confirm um, what do you think about especially the russian and few other languages okay let's try out a, maybe a table now in this one i'm just going to go with this invoice and maybe i will do markdown this time just to keep all the layout structure and it seems that just like its predecessor it failed to do the invoicing and this simple tabular one if i go down you see it couldn't do anything it has tried to produce a table but that's about it no data nothing well and no extracted text text at all okay so that is a fail let's try to do another table so for weird reason it is unable to work with table as you can see now it is giving me the error so i would say uh, pretty average model the documentation and other stuff talks a lot about its uh, benchmark and that is why you can't trust the benchmark so for example if i take you down and show you some of the information which they have shared i think they shared it on their github and in the paper i think um, they could have done better here the model definitely has some improvement especially when it comes to reading the text in uh, the older newspaper but i think for tables for these sort of structured formats like invoices which is primarily uh, one of the requirements for text intensive images i think that is where the model falters so i think for tabular data that sort of that stuff you this model won't cut it but if you have text intensive images like lot of text newspaper some books and stuff that might be a good fit for this model but i will let you be the uh, decider there for me i think uh, microsoft should maybe just drop drop this model create a new one uh, they lot they already have lot of good stuff going on especially in ocr2 and other multimodality that's it please let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and become a member as that helps a lot thanks for all the support